Hello, this is Survival Garber, and I want to show you something that's been in my collection for a long time. This is the Midland ER210 first generation uh, emergency radio. So this is a multi-powered radio. So it's digital here, got a speaker, antenna, it's got solar on top, this works the flashlight on the side, and I'll show you all that shortly. Battery compartment on the bottom. There's a pop-out crank. Let's see if I can show you the bottom of the sticker here. This is the ER210, made in China. Uh, this is a first generation. They've actually, since I since I purchased this one during the pandemic, um, the battery that came with it failed, <laughs> which is this. So it's an 18650 but it has a pigtail on it. And it's a proprietary pigtail because I looked all over the place and was unable to find one. Uh, that's because Midland discontinued them. So I needed to come up with a solution. And I did. Um, now, I'm not gonna get into the real nitty gritty of what's inside this um, because I don't completely remember. I do have pictures from back then. Um, but I actually modified it in, with the use of a little bit of solder, some electrical tape, and some uh, JB Weld, I think. I changed the battery contacts to take a regular 18650. And I'll show you. So, let me put a battery in here. If you look on the inside here, you see contacts. And there's another contact on that side. Let me see if I can get the light in here better. There we go. You can see there's a little bit of glue at the end there. JB Weld. And there's definitely some on that side. Because those contacts weren't there. So this originally plugged in to a connector over here. Or over here. I don't remember which side it was on. But it doesn't do that anymore. It's just a generic uh, at Ser 990 milliamp. I have no idea if that's accurate, but it works. Put that in there. Contacts are on. I got power. So, simple little radio. The button here to turn it on. Got the volume. So that first thing we got in here is AM. Right there. And it'll probably help about holding ten up. Maybe I'll get something in here. Probably not because my computer's next to this. I don't think it's gonna find anything. That's fine. So let's switch the band over. Now this is FM. Films are classical music. Or English. So, speakers here. Sounds pretty good normally. I don't know how it's coming on through the phone. Um, so, after the, that, we have the weather channels. So that works. So that always works. That's cool. Long press to turn it off. And the screen will stay on for a little while and then it'll turn off. The time is adjustable. It should be. So you could do a 12 hour or 24 hour setup. Hit menu again. You could change the time. So hours. Minutes. Not sure. Oh, back, uh, backlight off. I guess for five seconds, maybe? More just stays on. Could be five minutes, I don't know. <laughs> I've had this for so long, I'm not sure. I've never actually played with it. 
channel, or frequency. So you have those options as well. Okay, so the antenna, just a regular little telescoping antenna. Fits right in on the side here. There's a little section on the side here. A little plastic plug, USB in and out. You can actually charge with a USB port. It's a micro USB, by the way. And there's a headphone jack. Who uses the headphones now? But there's your micro USB, regular USB and a headphone jack. So you can charge as long as the battery inside is rechargeable. And these all 18650s, as far as I know, are. You can charge it. So you got the hand crank in the back. And when the crank is going, this little light will light up. And this is really hard to do while it's on camera. But it'll charge. Just really hard to do when you're trying not to drop the camera at the same time. And it just sits snugly in the back. There is a solar panel on top. And it will take about four four or five hours for this stock size battery to charge. This is, I don't remember what this was, 2,000 milliamp. So the 9,900 milliamp may take a little longer. But I got a whole, whole box of them here, so that's not a problem. So what else is on here? You got this nice little handle. So you could always clip it on your back of your backpack or bug out bag or Whatever your gear is, there's a flashlight in the front, a little LED one, operates by the button on the top. So low, high, and then there's an SOS. Which is a little off on timing. Because it does four, then two, then two. So it's a little off on the timing. And that might have been since I messed with it on the inside. But if you have a Generation 1 like this, you can modify it. It's, it's possible. So you don't have to throw it out because the battery has a pigtail. When you take the, when you open up this case and you crank comes out, all of this comes out, separates in half. On the inside, there is another pigtail that goes into, it says plus and minus. There's a little red and green wire, I believe. Or, or red and black. Uh, it goes to a tiny little board. Well, you can cut the wires off, the part that goes to the inside here, and you can solder on an extension of wires. So one will go here, and one will go there. And then the actual contacts that I have in here came from something else I took apart. So anything that's got a battery contact in it should work. It might have been a flashlight, it might have been a an old camera. I don't know what the contacts came from. I have a huge selection of electrical equipment um, of stuff that I take apart. Sometimes I'm able to fix things, sometimes I cannot. Um, so then you just would solder. In my case I had to glue it in place I think because I was doing this in a hurry because we had Superstorm Sandy coming. Um, that was before COVID. I think it's when I did it but it, the battery finally died um, during COVID and couldn't get one when nobody had work at the time. So the new generation, generation two, has a replaceable 18650 without a pigtail. So any the link below in the subscription is for the generation two uh, because the gen one with pigtail has been discontinued as I've said. So this is still modifiable. It just makes you have to think outside the box a little bit. Um, you can go from there. By the way, the I forgot to mention the charger on the inside here. So micro USB to charge, but you can charge a phone or something else from that USB port. Pull power out. Of course, it's all dependent on the battery and it's charged on the inside. Um, but you can charge a phone or a tablet um, off the radio as well. So these are actually pretty common. Um, lots of places sell them. Nearby here, I've seen them in um, Academy Sports and Outdoors. This one came from Radio Shack before Radio Shack went out of business, at least around here. Um, I'm trying to think.
think I, it's, there's going to be a link on Amazon, and I'll link it, I'll put a link for Midland as well, um, so you can take a look at all of its specs there. Um, and I think that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, leave them on the leave them below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Um, of course, read the description so you can see what else is in there. And um, thank you for watching. And please, of course, if you like this. If you want to see anything more like it, please press like or subscribe. You know, every bit helps. Um, and if you subscribe, please check the community tab. Um, I have a poll going on to see what everybody would like to see more of. Um, so this would help guide me in the direction you want me to go. So thank you for watching and have a glorious evening.